Today is part one of a three-part series on... We're going to be painting a canvas with a color scheme of golds and browns along with uh, some ultramarine blue and indigo. Seems like an odd combination, but I was just looking at my bottles of paints and, and they popped out at me and I thought that would look gorgeous. So we're going to do it. And it's going to be fabulous. So I thought I would start with sort of playing around with a landscape. So I'm going to do gold on the bottom. And I'm going to do, and I'm going to do indigo. No, I'm going to do ultramarine blue on the top. I guess it'll be opposite for you because So I'm just sort of getting it started on the side so it'll run down a little easier. Sort of thinking like this is sky and that's land. And again, I'm sorry, it's upside down. Maybe I'll take a couple times to flip it so you can see. I'm sure you guys have an imagination though. You can understand what I'm getting at, even though it's upside down, right? Man, ultramarine blue is just a beautiful color. So in studying landscapes, um, I've pretty much come to the conclusion that I feel like part of what makes it feel like a landscape is that the darkness emanates from the center, um, as in the horizon area gets darker. So I'm going to try to stick with that. Also don't want to not have enough paint. Okay. So now I'll pour a bunch of paint in the center, starting with uh, we'll do some more gold and even some iridescent pearl. I know I said dark in the center and it will be dark, I promise. And some brown. dark part, we're going to go with some indigo. And a little more gold. because we got some bald spots, I'll put a little more. Ah. You guys are probably screaming right now. I just got some bald spots. This is all a big experiment, right? Okay, so we had um, this was gold, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, iridescent pearl, and this was an indigo mixture that I made, which is the ultramarine blue mixed with a little bit of, um, what do you call it? 
quinacridone magenta. Okay, I'm getting my paper towel for swiping, and I'm not gonna, yeah, I'll go ahead and do the, the full length of it. No, I'm gonna do half sheets. So I sprayed a paper towel, and I'm gonna go up first, I think. gold in it. All right, so as it's developing, I am seeing that I've preserved the more brown and golds down here, but, um, and, and then preserved the blue up here. So hopefully, I, I feel like I'm moving away from abstract a little too much. I, I like the non-representational, but I do like it when people can say that, ooh, I see trees and a reflection in the water. So that's sort of what I'm thinking. We'll see. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute before I am tempted to tilt it. Right now, I am not really caring for this area. The blue and the gold has not turned to a muddy green, but it just looks like they're not keeping their own integrity. I don't know how to explain it other than the gold shimmer is showing through the blue and I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it. But this is turning lovely right there. All right, we'll come back in a bit. Well, it's just been a few minutes, but I, I, I'm really starting to dig it and I don't wanna mess with it. So I'm gonna set it aside and come back and show you a close-up after it develops a little more. 24 hours later. I like it. I like it a lot. I wish you could see how gold this gold is. It's so golden and shimmery and metallic. And then we got lots of cool stuff going on below and I like the colors together. Yay! Um, it's not completely dry, so I don't feel like I can uh, put it on an easel and take it outside. And here is a shot of the final on an easel outside in natural light. I really dig it. I think that it's looking super awesome with the gold contrasting against the blue. I really like the dark horizon. I love the silver shimmer outline around those cells there. I like the contrast between this dark swipe down and the, the opposite light swipe up in the middle. It gives your eye a place to rest. Overall, I just really like the contrasting colors. Blue and orange are opposite on the color wheel, and so I think this really works, even though it's gold and sort of a purplish blue. Yellow and purple are opposite as well, so I think the color combination works for that reason. But it's got a lot of variation in it, and I'm very happy with it. This is the first of three square compositions. 
So we'll see what the next one turns out. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Hey, did you know that I have a Patreon now as well as a Teespring account? You can support me by becoming a patron or you could buy some merch. There's a banner down below where you can buy t-shirts, hoodies, tank tops, kids shirts, also coffee mugs. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell if you want to get notified of my next videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.